And when you're watching this, we'll probably know. And hopefully this doesn't age badly. Good morning, it's the beginning of a new week, a new week in my life vlog. Kicking off on this Monday morning, I've kind of started off my work day as I usually do, catching up on my emails from home here. And now that I am like awake, settled, have a better handle on what I'm prioritizing and working on today, I'm going to head to a coffee shop. So I have a meeting free Monday, which is a blessing. And I have my mail-in ballot. Got my ballot in the mail and took the weekend to kind of like look over everything and revisit ballot measures that I was voting on and I filled it out and now she's ready to be dropped. I'm gonna go drop off my vote and then go to, I think Simona Cafe is where I'll go. I don't really plan to post up there all day or anything, probably just for a few hours before I wanna come back and have some lunch and regroup. We have three weeks to go until work trip to Baku and I'm still finalizing some like travel details for that and getting things hopefully pretty solid with our planning this week. Yeah, it's starting to feel like crunch time. Let's go get some coffee. I got some work done at Simona, had a nice coffee, um, dropped off my ballot, and now we're back. I'm gonna make some food for lunch. I got a little package from Decenio in the mail. I'm so excited because I've been like stalling on, I mean, a lot of my apartment decor stuff as we know, it's been a journey, but especially the bedroom, like I think I got to a good point, but then I didn't have any decor up. A couple weeks ago, I did hang one bigger print on the wall, but I haven't made any progress on what I want to do above the bed. I was like, maybe a shelf, but then I was like, eh, maybe not. So I have been looking at just doing a couple prints. Wow, I look really pale. I need to self tan. Um, and I have one print that right now is like leaning against my window in the living room. It's like pink with a lot of different colors, abstract art. And I saw this and I was like, that could be kind of cute next to it. And it also, matches my vanity mirror style so i bought it i think i used my own code on decenio i did a partnership with them at the end of last year yeah, i'm pretty sure my code was like christy 20 or something but i'll try and correct that i didn't get a frame because i have some other ones that i'm not as attached to um like the prints themselves but the frame is the right size i think so i'm just going to use what i already have Ooh. this swirly little pink guy but i feel like they complement each other um, and putting them above my bed. It matches the shape of the vanity mirror, so I feel like it was a good tie-in. This is ineffective. <laughs> okay, good. Whatever, the frame will do its job. <laughs> and then maybe I'll try and hang these up at some point this week, or today, I don't know. Um, but first I need to make some food and then keep working. Okay, I put them into matching frames and kind of just placed them there to get a visual of it. I don't know, I feel like it looks a little bit young, but also they're cute and just like a fun pop of color. And like if I complement it with the right bedding accessories. Yeah, what do we think? I don't know, I'm not 100% sold. I think I might, I'm not gonna hang them up like today. I think I might just wait on it for a minute and set them. Next to maybe like that. I don't know. I'm in my bathroom. I'm about to dry my hair, but first I want to show you guys what I'm going to put in it. Of course, it's seen the hair care brand that I never stop talking about because I love them. It's it was just eczema awareness month, which is the perfect time to talk about the connection between your hair care and your skincare because it might surprise you. I have really sensitive skin, eczema prone, dry skin, and so I really try to make sure all my products are in line with that and not irritating it and making it worse. Your hair care actually can irritate your skin. It's touching your skin, especially your scalp. I'm so glad that I found Scene because they are a hair care company developed with skincare in mind. They were developed by a Harvard trained dermatologist, Dr. Iris Rubin. I would definitely check out Scene or if you just have, I mean, we all should care about our skin, whether you have 
sensitive acne prone. I'm gonna use their leave-in conditioner, which has been a favorite lately. It is fragrance-free, not irritating, and makes your hair so, so soft. Just a few pumps, and then work that between. And of course, I gotta go in with my home girl, the Magic Serum, fragrance-free. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's non-comedogenic, it won't clog your pores. Safe for sensitive, acne prone, and eczema prone skin. Um, and it's just so nice because it reduces frizz, makes your hair softer, silkier, and it adds that heat protectant. So it's like 450 degrees Fahrenheit you can protect your hair up to. Plus it reduces hair breakage by up to 81% after a single use. I work a little bit of this through my damp ends. So I'm gonna blow dry it pretty quick and show you guys the results after. Love. I've been using their stuff for like over a year now and I've gone through multiple of these. They're actually having a really great Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale this year. So you can use my code for early access to 30% off. So if you've been thinking about it and wanna try it, get it as a gift for someone, now is the perfect time. You can use my code Christy30 for 30% off on scene. I'll have this link down below. Again, that's early access to their amazing Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal for 30% off with my code Christy30 down below. Thank you so much, Scene. Okay, good morning, folks. Happy Tuesday. I definitely thought this outfit was gonna be much better in my head, but I feel like the colors just kind of clash a little bit. Like, there's three different tones here of beige. I mean, this one's actually white, but I just feel like the sweater doesn't go that well with these pants. I'm rolling with it, I'm already wearing it, and I'm wearing these flats. Um, I am going to a round table event today. Not like that fancy, but still, usually I'd be wearing sneakers is what I'm saying. With these trousers that I always wear and link on my Amazon shop. This sweater is a rental from Newly. It is a really fun dual tone kind of nude. I woke up early today and I forgot that, oh, what's in my pocket? Oh, this was like my ticket to the DAR library. I forgot what was in there. I woke up and it was pitch black still and I was like, it has to be the dead of night. Like there's no way. And I looked at my phone, it was 6.30. I mean, it's not like it's that much earlier. I usually will get up and get ready at like seven, but still the darkness made all the difference. <laughs> Hopefully get some stuff done before other people show up. And then I have a meeting at nine. So I'm gonna bring some of the chili that I made for lunch. And then I'm also bringing this, it's like an office snack to share just cause we always have like fun treats and things to try. And I just picked these up at Trader Joe's. They're the pumpkin spice batons. I do think I've had these before at some sort of party and I thought they were good. This round table thing kind of got thrown on my calendar last minute, but I gotta do some prep for that today before I go. And then I have a lot of things to do. I think it's at four or something. So I'll just go straight from the office um, and end my day there. And then there's like a cocktail reception after. I'm gonna grab my lunch. It is Sunday where I'm starting this vlog because I'm about to go in and get my hair done. I'm so excited. I've been complaining about it so often and I'm probably cutting it out of most of my vlogs, but I'm sure some of the complaints have made it in. It just needs to be cut mostly. I'm actually quite happy with the color. I just want to bring up some of the lightness and just refresh it. So it probably won't look that different, just a bit healthier. The ends just seem extra dead to me for some reason like more than usual when I'm going to get my hair done. 
I can't tell if this is in frame or like a good, also the back of my head is none of my business. So I don't know what it looks like. I'm quickly eating something. I feel like I should have left already. I go to Natalie Grande. I started going to her when I lived here before and she was in Fair Oaks Mall at a salon. Um, and now she's moved out on her own independent, but it's further from me. Like, very happy for her and her success. Um, but it's kind of a trek. So I'm going all the way to the end of the orange line, Vienna, if you're local, and then have to get an Uber. Last time, um, it took like 15 minutes and it was a giant truck, like a Ford. F1, whatever, is huge. <laughs> My first ever pickup truck Uber experience. I'm thinking this time I'll just call the Uber when I'm not quite at the station yet because I have to anticipate that it's gonna take a long time. It's also marathon day here in DC, which is so exciting and I'm happy for everyone running it. I have a couple coworkers and I know a few people running it. I'm going to eat this really quick. I have a gluten-free waffle and some chicken sausage. And then we'll be on our merry way and getting our hair touched up by Natalie. Happy Sunday. Okay, I successfully got an Uber that I only have to wait three minutes upon getting here for. I think I have cracked the code. <laughs> I was so worried about time, but I think I'm gonna be actually like 10 plus minutes early, so yay, decided to get this cut. done with my hair appointment oh hello um it looks so nice and it feels so much better she did it like pretty curly but it'll fall so yeah brought up the blonde a bit and just kind of overall blended it and gave it a good chop wow it was so quick it was like less than two hours she's the best done my hair looks so much better i'm so so happy with it natalie is absolutely a genius especially when it comes to blonde even though i'm not like blonde blonde anymore um but she definitely like brightened it up around my face more we just added very little on the color front and she gave it a good trim so it looks way healthier and i mean i feel like it's hard to compare because she did these like curls so it doesn't look like how i was styled this morning but yeah, it feels amazing. And yeah, at first when I she turned around the chair, I was like, whoa, it's so blonde. Um, but I think I just gotten so used to my root grown out so much. And I think it looks really nice. She's great, highly recommend. And she's just like the sweetest person. See if I can get the same angle. And it wasn't that long, like I said, I think I was in and out before 1 p.m. And now I'm already home and got all my groceries for the week and it's 2.26. Feeling accomplished. I definitely need to eat some lunch, but it's good that I just came back with a Trader Joe's haul. This is definitely not a full and complete grocery haul because I still have a good amount of things, especially like frozen things, rice, sweet potatoes still. Um, so I didn't need to do like a complete shop, but just some things I was missing and what I want to put together dinner for the week. So I guess I'll start there. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a zucchini squash roast sheet pan thing. I kind of thought mushrooms sounded good with that. I don't know. I just like mushrooms and I haven't cooked them myself in a while. And I'm going to have that with some of these chicken meatballs. These are so cheap. It was like $3, $4 for a pack. And it comes with four servings, which is great. And I cook and I do like a sheet pan thing for that. And then I also have some chicken sausage frozen that I can slice up and do on that with these little fingerling potatoes. I got some chili onion hummus. Um, I got some plain green yogurt. I've been kind of sucked into protein talk, like TikToks about protein, which I'm not really someone who struggles to get in protein, but I I used to be a like protein powder person. Um, but these days I pretty much get it from direct sources like meats. I have been thinking like I want to be a little more intentional again with having protein snacks and stuff. So I got some like cottage cheese, 
yesterday and I got some Greek yogurt today. What I'm planning to do is I have this ranch seasoning from Trader Joe's that I got just for one specific recipe and I'm like, okay, I have all this seasoning. Um, I might as well just make my own little ranch dip with some Greek yogurt and ranch seasoning and then dip carrots in it with the hummus, kind of like a little snack situation. So I'm gonna eat that with some turkey. With my being more mindful of protein era, I am having a little more dairy for that. So like cheese. But yeah, dairy doesn't really affect me that much. Uh, my eczema is pretty good these days, so I'm not too concerned about it. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more, see how I respond. I got some cauliflower gnocchi. It's been a long time. I used to be so obsessed with this and I would eat it like every day for dinner. I really haven't had this in a while and then I saw it in the freezer section I was like you know what this is a good thing to have with some of these meatballs or something uh, chicken sausage I just found these for the first time at Trader Joe's um and they're only like three dollars also for six sausage patties some more cowboy caviar just because not for any particular reason or for any particular um snack that I bought I still have some of these corn dippers left from chili. Speaking of the protein, one of the things that I tried is something I picked up at Target this weekend. I've literally never in my life been someone that drinks protein shakes, besides like making my own with protein powder. And one of the TikToks that I saw, well, I've seen this, I've heard of these and seen them a lot. These are the Fairlife Core Power protein shakes. This is the vanilla and has 26 grams of protein. And I just have been extremely skeptical because I'm not someone like, I think you can train your taste buds, especially if you, like, do you have a lot of those, it's not fake protein sources, but you know what I mean? Like, processed things and bars where it's like, you get used to the taste of those, and so you don't think they taste bad. So I was skeptical, even though people were like, this is the best one on the market. And I saw one in the checkout at Target, and I was like, you know what, I'll just pick it up and see. Just to, like, give it a, give it a taste. And you guys... This is actually good. Like not even as a protein shake, it's so good and like pretty sweet. It literally tastes like a melted milkshake, which is so wild. I mean, it does have like five grams of sugar, but no added sugar. It's just wild to me. So I made a little protein coffee with this this morning and another amazing hack. Um, last night I drank this mixed with root beer as like, a protein like it, it tasted like a root beer float without the actual ice cream just like melted ice cream root beer float it's so good i was literally like downing it this i think is worth the hype and i am shocked and of course i'm always addicted to root beer olipops so like if i can find a new avenue to inject this in my system i might have oversold it just then but i think my expectations were so low that i was genuinely floored okay now I'm gonna put this away, like I said, three times and make some food. I think I'm gonna make a little turkey sandwich, like I said, with some carrots and try out this ranch Greek yogurt thing and see if it even works. Good, <coughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, I'm actually so happy. I don't know why I'm like, it feels like I haven't gone to the office a while, I think, cause we didn't go in on Thursday, but I, I definitely feel like I need to be there and like talk to some people and get some things done and squared away. I also have like a training that I need to be there for. Love this outfit. I'm wearing a skirt again and I was like, can I get away with wearing this to work twice? But last time I wore it with black and I feel like it looks very different with this white sweater. I was thinking about tucking the sweater in, but I kind of like the long silhouette. Fresh hair, it was so much easier and more satisfying to do my hair this morning. <laughs> because it wasn't catching on the dead ends. It is a very exciting day because I'm going to a Kamala Harris rally tonight. I feel like it, well, it's definitely one of her last events um, before the election because it's a week away, which is terrifying. But um, definitely the only thing I've seen her do in DC recently. So don't know how crazy it's going to be. They said they expect like 20,000 people, but it's on kind of like the National Mall the ellipse in front of the White House. So there's tons of space there. So I'm hoping we get it. One of the friends I'm going with is going to scope it out earlier and like see what the situation is. And then we're gonna go later in the afternoon. But first I'm gonna go into the office, get some things done. Anyway, here's a full length look at the outfit. Um, not wearing shoes yet, but 
ignore that. A few days ago, you and I, we sat here, I did my grocery haul, and I went on my spiel about how I wanna get into more like high protein snacks, and that means adding in a little bit more dairy and seeing how it goes. When I first initially went gluten and dairy free because of my eczema, so it's kind of, those are both inflammatory foods and eczema is inflammation. It really did work to get rid of it almost. I still had some and it would flare up from time to time. And I would notice like when I ate more gluten or something, if I had pizza on a night out, the next morning I woke up and my eczema was much worse. I was very strict about it for a long time. And then gradually over time, I feel like I healed part of my gut or something. I would notice like I would eat something that had a little bit of gluten or something and it wouldn't affect me nearly as much as it had been before. So I think over time, and so I went to like eating 80, 20, like at home, I was pretty much gluten and dairy free. And then if I'd go out on the weekends or something, I'd have a little bit. That's what I was saying about those dairy things. And I've had like some cheese from time to time when I'm cooking or like if some Trader Joe's frozen thing has a little bit of one or the other in it, I don't really get too worried about it. But um, I do fear that my eczema is flaring up visibly from the amount of dairy I've been consuming. I'm wearing a turtleneck and also I covered the top part with makeup but I'm definitely getting some eczema on my neck which I hate it's so uncomfortable and my hand is flaring up pretty bad so I'm like maybe I should cut back and not be drinking all these protein shakes and doing all the dairy at once and see if it gets a little bit better because it's just uncomfortable and I don't miss that kind of a bummer because I think I overestimated how tolerant I was to it now. I'm gonna have my gluten-free waffle, speaking of which. It's also like, it's getting a little bit colder, which can affect my skin, and I'm about to start my period, which does affect my skin too, so maybe I'm not reacting as strong to the dairy as I think, it's just a combination of things. I don't know, but I just wanna be a little more mindful of it, which is, you know, so it goes. But I'm like sweating in heat. <laughs> in this sweater, I need to get outside into the cold. I just got done with the training, it was super quick, and I'm done early, so obviously I'm gonna get a coffee to use my time. It's so nice and cool outside. together. America, for too long we have been consumed with too much division, chaos, and mutual distrust. And it can be easy then to forget a simple truth. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. When I was attorney general of a border state, I saw the chaos and violence caused by transnational criminal organizations that I took on. this hefty breakfast bowl honestly i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this but i made two eggs scrambled with a little bit of oat milk and cheese and then some cottage cheese on the side some potatoes that i made for dinners but i thought a few in my breakfast bowl would be good and sausage so good protein packed meal um i am like <laughs> there's so much going on right now and yesterday was so exciting. I I don't know if I said in the vlog that I was going, but I filmed clips at the, um, it was like Kamala Harris's, it, I don't think it was a rally technically, cause it was 
more so just her closing argument. I went with some of my coworkers. I was gonna try and meet up with a friend who went there a lot earlier because there was people lining up super early and they had way more turnout than expected. There was like 75,000 people. It was a sea <laughs> of people. It's crazy. Really, really glad. That's just one of those things. Like I, it popped up on an Instagram thing the day before. Oh yeah, I think I did mention this. So I literally was just like, okay, yeah, I'd love to go to this like historic potentially thing. Um, so one of those things about being in DC, like an opportunity that is so exciting and doesn't come around all the time. Um, and yeah, it was just very special, so really glad I was able to go. If this is up before election day, go vote, please. And now I'm gonna eat this breakfast slash brunch because it's kind of late now. I've had a couple calls and get on with my Wednesday. Good morning, crusty crew. It is Monday morning. We are back at it, getting ready for what's about to be a crazy week, I'm sure. Oh. And I just overheated my coffee to reheat it, but whatever. Um, it is the top of the Monday. I just got back from a really, really fun weekend in New York. Um, but I came back to the scariest Sunday scariest ever because the election's tomorrow. And I've definitely been not thinking about it all weekend and now I'm freaking thinking about it. A week from today, I'm leaving for Baku, Azerbaijan for the UN Climate Change Conference. And today we're hosting this like expert round table about it, I'm listening to Gracie. Wow, there's so many thoughts going through my head right now. So we've been working towards this event for a while. I'm slightly nervous about it, but it'll be good. We were gonna do it in September and decided to push it back. And now it's like right before call, but it's okay. Um, we have a good guest list. Hopefully they show. So that's in the afternoon, but I'm gonna go to the office in the morning just in case like anything comes up or I can handle things from there. And the rest of the week, I'm literally in the sprint planning our events at COP next week. So I can't believe that's already happening next week. It's just one of those things where when you're working towards something, it feels like it's forever away and then you blink and then it's tomorrow. I think things are in a good place and coming together nicely, like nothing is on fire that I know of. So we are rolling with that. Like I said, in New York this weekend, I had two friends' birthdays, which were super, super fun. And then the marathon was yesterday, which is like my favorite day in the city. It is such an undescribable energy of just like joy and happiness and crying for strangers. And I was at marathon day and cheering them on. And then I was trying to like get ahead of my emails because there were things that were urgent that I, I am not a fan of working on the weekend. <laughs> I'm not a proponent of like girl boss, no days off culture. Um, I am a proponent of boundaries, but I do feel that sometimes when it's just crazy busy times and things are time sensitive, like you gotta do what you gotta do. So I made an exception and I was doing some phone emails and setting up meetings and stuff. But um, I did some of that yesterday, so that makes me feel a little bit better about just like having an eye on my inbox and what I'm gonna be coming into the office to today. I'm so prepared for the work aspect. I'm so unprepared for the actually traveling and being over there for two weeks aspect. <laughs> because my friend and I are going to Turkey after. I think I mentioned that. But we need to like actually plan the details of that. We've both been really busy and we need to finalize some things for our plans. And I have no idea what I'm gonna pack or where for two weeks because I'm feeling in a chaotic space. And on top of all of this, where it's like the most hectic time of the year, probably probably couple weeks in my job, um, it's the election. <laughs> okay, we are ready, it's 8.15. Gonna head in to the office. Part of me was considering starting my workday from home and then going in at noon, but I just think it'll be better if I'm just there and can immediately like get going on everything. I have a call at 10.30 that I could take remotely, but it's fine, I'm already ready. I got up extra early because of our blessed extra hour of sleep from daylight savings ending, so that's good. There's one silver lining in <laughs> this chaotic week. This little bodysuit from Rioria on my Amazon shop and loft trousers. They just look slightly like capris. 
I do think maybe I'm supposed to wear them lower, but I just like them at my belly button. I don't know, but then the crotch fits right, so I don't know. They're just like too cropped, but whatever. Blazer is also loft. It's got the elbow pads, so I feel like this is a good professional event ready. My flats from Dolce Vita that I got recently. Black and white. These are probably going to be what I'm wearing the entire time. I'm at COP next week. Deep breaths. I'm so excited to come back today and have this event be done. <sighs> Deep breaths. It'll be good. It'll be great. I'm trying to like mantra myself. We all need a Monday morning mantra. This week will be all positive energy, all good news, all successful work projects and events and so it is <laughs> let's see y'all on the other side okay like i said earlier as soon as i got back i'd be breathing a sigh of relief <sighs> event is over and it went really well, it was well attended, the conversation was flowing, there was no like lol or dome moments, and I'm just whew, one down. I got two to go next week, really like at peace now. I mean, not about the election, because that's still to come. I feel like I'm not hydrated at all, because I've just been like so focused and locked in on this. Now I need to like plan my turkey trip with my friend, we're gonna FaceTime, I think, in a couple hours, so I should eat something before that, and maybe take some couch time to just like, hopefully go to bed early. That's what I love about daylight savings is like the fall at least is such a good time to reset and try and get to bed early and waking up early. Good morning. Tuesday, election day. I'm wearing all black. I don't even know words at this point. Let's, I just, I have feelings, I have thoughts. I have opinions, I have predictions, I have no idea what could actually go down. But also, I don't know. I'm choosing to be optimistic because what's the point in spending the time when you don't know? Um, worrying. I'm making some cottage cheese toast for breakfast. We just got a new TV in our workroom in the office, so like we're probably going to have that on in the background. <laughs> while we work. I mean, polls don't even close to leaving, so. It's gonna be a long few days. I saw a tweet that was like, we are now entering the equivalent of the airport lounge where there are no such thing as calories or money or, you know, if you need to drink a beer at 10 a.m. <laughs> I just remember in 2020, it was like such a delirious days for like four days. <laughs> Cottage cheese. Um, as is, not like blended or anything on my toast. And then I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's spicy honey and do a little drizzle of that. I also feel like everything but the bagel seasoning would be good on this because what is it not good on, you know? It's like fine. Bye, happy election day. Hope you voted because now it's too late. Okay, you guys, I completely dropped off this vlog. Um, coincidentally, right around the election. It's been a few days now. Um, like many of you, I'm sure. It was pretty shocking. Um, and as you saw in this vlog, like I went to a Harris event. I feel like if you followed me for a while, you probably know where I stand. And this is not what I wanted. It's just like a weird vibe, especially like newly being back in DC, newly, it's been like eight months. Um, and I was, you know, when I lived here before, it was during the Trump years, and I really was not hoping for that again, but here we are. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I don't want to like make this a huge thing, but I just thought I'd conclude the video because I know it's been a little bit all over the place. I, this vlog spans like a few different weeks that I just kind of pieced together some different footage from. It's been chaotic as I've alluded to with work. I'm about to leave literally tomorrow for Aku for the climate change conference while we're probably about to pull out of the Paris Agreement as the United States. I don't know like I'm I've talked to like a lot of friends about it and co-workers and I think we're all just feeling the same where we're just like a little bit shell-shocked and 
I'm not as emotional about it. Yeah, I don't think it's fully sunk in yet and I'm sure it will once inauguration comes and once the administration changes. Stupid to say, it feels like there's nothing right. Not that I'm trying to like say this for the right thing, but just genuinely expressing my feelings. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we gotta lean on community and still continue pushing for the things that we wanna see in this country in whatever avenue we can yeah sending love to all of you um the vibes in dc have definitely been just like quiet this week um i honestly could have expected and maybe there was some that i just didn't see but i thought there'd be like protests if he won and i think everyone's just a little bit shell-shocked the city is very resilient itself and it's been through many different administration changes i'm taking it one day at a time along with all of you guys Happy to have this community. I'm gonna sign off because this video has gone on for far too long and we need to wrap it up so we can get to my next vlog will probably be me traveling because I'm about to leave. So thanks so much for watching. Love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. thinking like I